Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is youth literacy, and we're fortunate to have with us to talk about youth literacy, uh, Alana McLaughlin. Uh, Alana is not only my granddaughter, but uh, she has been with us on another occasion, and uh, evidently uh, her fans, according to uh, some of her views, uh, requested uh, another appearance uh, for her. And of course, Alana, let me welcome you back uh, to the uh, show this morning and to uh, tell you really how uh, delighted we are to have you, especially Thank because you. we think in terms of uh, bringing to the uh, audience this morning some information relative to what we call youth literacy uh, and dealing with young people between the ages of uh, three and five, you see. And so what we'd like to do this morning is to uh, not only deal with that, but to uh, look at uh, some of the uh, things that you've been involved in in terms of trying to assist, even at your age of eight trying to assist uh, young people. And so let's start off by talking about you and your uh, school experiences. Well, <coughs> at school, um, we usually use these treasures reading books that we keep in our lockers. They help us uh, read stories, to, like for our vocabulary to learn words mm -hmm. such as that. Mm -hmm. And we use those stories to tell us information mm -hmm. such as true non-fiction stories or mm -hmm. fiction stories, just to let our imagination spread out or to give us real knowledge on something that we're doing such as a review test or mm -hmm. a reading test. Mm -hmm. And so it, 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 you, you found in your situation, now you, what, grade, what grade are you in? I am in third, going on fourth. Going on, on the fourth After grade. this summer. After this summer, you'll be in the fourth grade. Now, uh, you've been reading, I understand, uh, for uh, quite a number of years. Uh, why don't you tell us something about your own reading experiences? Because what we want you to do is to uh, sort of talk to young people uh, your age or younger about how important it is uh, to read. And I understand that you've been involved with reading for quite a number of years. Uh, when did you first start reading? Mm, maybe when I was an itty bitty child, uh, my mother, Cheryl, used to take me to the library and I'd probably grab a little baby book and I'd sit down and I'd start reading. And then soon I would read it to my mother and she was just flabbergasted mm -hmm. at how I could read at that small age. Mm -hmm. And this was even before you started school, right before you started yes, school? Yes, about mm -hmm. one or two. Mm -hmm. And how many, how, how many schools, now you're in the third grade, you've attended a number of schools and had reading experiences in uh, most of them, in all of them I would imagine before uh, now, and, and, and how, why don't you say something about that? Well first I went to Napier for pre-K, then uh, for kindergarten and first I went to Alice Green, mm -hmm. and for second, third, and fourth, I'm at Glenn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. And so you, you've been to uh, Alex Green, and now you're at Glenn, and. and, and Mm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, and so now you're at Glenn, and, 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 and what are some of your experiences in terms of your reading now? You, what what, what uh, level do you read? Um, in? I read at a 45, which is at a fifth grade level. Mm -hmm. and, and so you're at a fifth grade. Why don't you tell us something about some of the books that you've been reading here lately? Uh, you... Well, right now, I am reading Mystery Isle by Judas St. George, mm -hmm. originally called The Chinese Puzzle of Shag Island. I recently read The Miraculous Adventures of Edward Tulane by Kate DiCamillo, mm -hmm. The Tale of Despero by mm -hmm. Kate DiCamillo, mm -hmm. and Because of When Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I'm a Kate DiCamillo fan. Mm -hmm. And now, who is Kate DiCamillo? I mean, is that. She's an author of all the books that I just named, mm -hmm. except. Mystery Isle mm. by Judas St. George, mm -hmm. um, who also uh, made other books, such as Haunted, mm -hmm. and I've also read Nancy Whirlin, Double Helix, mm -hmm. and Jennifer Allison's mm -hmm. Gl Guidla mm -hmm. Joyce, Physic Investigator. Mm -hmm. I've also read Lulu Dark and See Through Walls by Bennett Madison, okay. and mm -hmm. Dorothy and Thomas Hobler, The Sword That Cut the burning grass. And so you've been involved in a real sense in, in, in the whole process of reading for, for quite a, n a number of years and you, you can even remember the number of books that uh, you've read, is that right? Uh, probably, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, 
Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo, mm -hmm. The Miraculous Adventures of Edward Tulane mm -hmm. by De Kate DiCamillo, mm -hmm. Mr. Owl by Su Judas St. George. Mm -hmm. um, I've also read some mystery books, mm -hmm. such as The Magic School Bus. Mm -hmm. I, I'm also into paranormal activities, such as ghosts and ghouls and vampires and stuff. <sighs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, so over the last 15 uh, seconds here, Lana, we, and before this se second uh, segment, uh, let us uh, uh, think in terms of bringing back uh, some additional information in reference to that. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 